So just as we're heading towards the voter registration weekend, how's the IEC preparing the country for the upcoming elections next year? Look, the first step is always to make sure that your voters roll is in a good state. And uh, the basic uh, principle is in South Africa that we work with the national common voters roll. So if your name is not on that national common voters roll, then you are not allowed to vote. And registration for South Africans, um, all those who are South African citizens, with the necessary identity documents, um, is a voluntary exercise at the moment. And what the law requires is that a South African citizen must go in person to uh, an official of the IEC in order to register as a voter. Uh, what we will be doing on the 9th and the 10th of November is to take that process closer to where the people are into the communities and we'll be opening all the voting stations, all the venues we usually use as voting stations, and we'll be using them as registration points. First step is to make sure that the voters roll is fine and that the registration is available to people. And currently how many people have registered in the Western Cape? In the Western Cape we're currently standing on about 2.63 million people uh, registered. Uh, that represents about just over 70% of the population of the, uh, of the province. Are you finding that people are actually starting to care about like voter registration and actually voting in general? Well, I think that uh, we are entering uh, election season with uh, a heightened interest in politics. Uh, there are new political parties, uh, a number of them quite high profile. And the fact that we've got new political parties adds a sense of uh, excitement, I suppose, to the electoral process. Uh, it's one of the parties in particular, the EFF from uh, Julius Malema, of course, is uh, ostensibly designed to attract uh, young voters. Even Mampeli Rampeli's Ahang political party is uh, supposedly reaching out to first-time voters, the born frees, those who never voted before, uh, who weren't registered. So clearly it's these two new political entrants who've, who've gained a lot of media interest, I suppose, over the course of the last while, are playing a role in assisting with the increase in awareness of the registration process. But look, all the political parties are going to have to do this. And it's not, I have to say, just the IEC's responsibility, but the political parties are going to be out there getting those first-time voters in, uh, those who've never registered, those who have been apathetic. And there are a lot of young, apathetic South Africans out there who complain, but of course don't uh, vote with their cross at election time because they haven't registered. And I think we're seeing this um, at a, a, a more highly charged political atmosphere uh, in this election, more highly charged perhaps that it, than in previous times. The outreach um, pillar of the IEC is already busy working with people, uh, various stakeholders out there, uh, trying to, to build up a, a base of people who will be coming to register. And we do that by uh, getting people to understand how the democracy works, the importance of participating in democracy and the holding responsibility in building that democracy. And then I think that uh, for me aggregates to really making your mark on election day. We um, as the IEC have just unveiled our logo for the um, 2040 national provincial election and it simply says I vote South Africa. So irrespective of what party your choice is when you vote, you voted for the country. And I think it's a powerful uh, message to, to, to mm -hmm. carry with us, especially as we look at this election as a celebratory election uh, of 20 years of democracy. The registration process is very simple. You know, it takes, it takes a few minutes, if that long, if you've got your ID and so on. But of course, you have, said, you have to be physically there. <laughs> of the IEC, you've got to get out of the house, you've got to go there, and you have to have your ID book, you know. So there's always a, a reason why people would not want to do that. But I think we're getting there, we need to get there, and we must all just regard it as one of the challenges of our time.